class, this is my routine using public and private transport. Public transport is transport that anyone can use, such as trains, taxis, buses, underground, planes, and carts. Private transport is transport that only the owner and the owner's friends and family can use, such as cars, vans, lorries, bicycles, motorcycles, and boats. In the morning, I take the bus at 8 o'clock. Is a bus public or private transport? That's right, public. It's important to be a good passenger in public transport. A passenger is someone who travels in transport. How can you be a good passenger in public transport? Don't put your feet up on the seat. Take your rubbish with you. Wait for passengers to get off before you get on. Don't distract the driver. Offer your seat to anyone that needs it more than you, such as old people or pregnant women. Don't be too noisy. Talk quietly. When I get off the bus, I have to cross the road. Before I can cross the road, I have to stop, look, listen, and think. If there are no cars coming, then I can cross the road. When you travel in a car, it's important to be a safe passenger. Sit in the back of the car and always wear a seatbelt. Use a booster seat so your seatbelt fits correctly. And lastly, don't distract the driver. It is important to pay attention to road signs. There are three kinds of road signs, information, orders, and warnings. Information signs are blue and square and tell us things like where a hospital is or where the crosswalk is. Order signs are round and tell us things like not to enter an area or what the speed limit is. Red order signs tell us things that you cannot do and blue order signs tell us things that you must do. Warning signs are signs that warn us of things like traffic lights and roundabouts coming up. This has been my routine using public and private transport. What's your routine? So many ways to try.